This is now the thinnest, most powerful PC ever created. Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, and my little homeboy LJ coming to you live. There you go, coming to you live. There you go, LJ. But we ain't no ass wax when we're not at the ass fight. Coming to you where? Coming to you live. But anyway, man, look, man. Microsoft appears to be jumping into the uh to the hardware in uh, the hardware side of things. Uh, hard body. Uh, I mean, of course, we already know they had things like the Surface Pro and um and you know they have a few cell phones, uh, the Nokia Lumia, Lumia, and uh, you know they had the uh you know just 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 things like that. Look, gadgets here and there. But right now on Tuesday, it um they they released an entire or uh, they unveiled an entire suite of uh of hardware. Uh, that's all gonna be running the Windows 10 operating system, man. And uh, the whole star of the entire thing was the was this thing, uh, their first laptop. It's called a Surface Book. Uh, and uh, what they said is they said that this is gonna be twice as powerful as the uh, MacBook Pro, and that's a tall order right there. I mean, I don't know if it's just lip service or what, but that is a tall order. And uh, they said that that one of the presenters was was uh, quoted as saying, "This is the thinnest, most powerful laptop." ever created or thinnest most powerful pc ever created whatever you want to call it man this thing is supposed to uh it's got a 13.2 uh, inch screen and it all has a detachable it's detachable from the keyboard just like the surface is so you know that that's they it, it will it also be a tablet it'll be um it'll be a tablet you know you can do a tent style you can fold it over or you just uh flat out detach it and make it the tablet by itself and uh it's going to be fifteen hundred dollars for that price it better than be the be the be the uh, the strongest, most powerful, thinnest, whatever. I mean, fifteen hundred dollars for just just for that. But I mean, uh, Microsoft has a good track record with things like this, and uh, it's gonna be running the Windows 10 operating system. I have that on my computer, so hey, you know, we'll just see how that goes. And now, uh, speaking of the Surface Pro, man, they also um they also unveiled the fourth generation of the uh of the Surface, and uh, it's gonna have a 12.3 uh, inch screen, and uh, the Surface, uh, and it also gonna be it's also gonna have a Surface uh, Pro pen. And they say it has uh, 1,024 levels of uh, pressure sensitivity. I don't even really know what that means, man. I guess it just means that that you'll be able to uh, press and hold, or you know, it'll be able to tell how hard you're pressing on things like that. And I guess that's a good thing. I never really got into the pens or the uh, stylus, styli, styluses, whatever the hell y'all want to call it. I never really got into the styluses, styluses, whatever, Bridget. I never really got into those um, as far as uh, tablets and things go. I just always use my finger. Uh, maybe somebody can tell me about that in the comments, but they're saying that this, this one is going to be 50% faster or more powerful than the MacBook Air. So again, that's a pretty tall order, but we know that they've already said that the that the surfaces um, were designed to replace your laptop. So we'll kind of see how that goes. And then um, right along with that, in, um, in December, You've got the uh, the Nokia Lumia. I like I said, I don't know if it's Nokia anyway, but it's uh, the 950 and the 950 XL. I guess it's going to be like the, I, I, I suppose it's going to be like the, um, what would you call it, the, the iPhone 6 and then the iPhone 6. What's the iPhone 6, the other one called, Bridget? The iPhone 6 uh, S, yeah, 6S, the big one. Um, so you're going to have the, the Lumia 950 will be uh, 549. It's going to be released in December. And then the uh, 950 XL is going to be uh, 649. And I, I suppose it's going to be a little bit bigger. They'll both have 20 megapixel cameras. And, uh, you know, they're going to be higher end phones. And uh, the, the thing that, that I thought was, was kind of dope, and I know you can already do this with uh, some phones, but they said you're going to be able to, um, they're gonna have a docking station for them and you'll be able to dock them and uh, they'll be powerful enough to be able to be used as a laptop or a small PC or what have you and I think that's 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 uh I would say that's innovative but uh, some of us have been doing that for a while I haven't done it in quite a while but I mean um, some some phones would allow you to do that so so uh, hey it, it is what it is um, I don't know who would actually use that feature I'm sure some people do. Like uh, some some attorneys, uh, I think, use that feature. And then uh, maybe on an airplane or something, when you're just sitting there, and you don't have anything else that you can be doing. Maybe somebody will type out a brief or something like that. But I, I just don't know. Um, or if I were, well, if I were a game review or something like that, maybe I would use it. You know, just when I didn't have anything else to do, and I just dock him, and um, you know, with something. I wonder if they, I don't know if they're gonna have like a a dock for it that will actually have a a a, uh, a monitor or 
or a screen or just have it so you can use the screen. I don't know if anybody would want to use that small screen or what have you. They said it's going to be a uh, five. Uh, 5.7 I do believe I'm not sure you'll be able to see it in the article um, but um hey I, I don't know who's gonna use it but in that way but hey if you do more power to you I know it can be done we've seen it before but I, I just don't know who's going to use that and then finally uh, they're gonna they, they also unveiled their new and improved new and improved uh, Microsoft Band. Uh, this is going to be the fitness tracker smartwatch combination and uh, it's gonna have a curved screen and a thinner design so um it's going to be around $250, and they said it's going to be released later this month. I, I, I know some people, there are a lot of people out there that are into the Fitbits and the things like that. I'm, I'm not really a fan of them, I suppose. When I go to the gym, I'm like, I'm in the butt-ass naked, man. I mean, I got on my clothes. I don't use gloves. I don't have no watch on, no my, my, my ring, any of that. I don't do any of that. I just go in with just, hey, it's, it's shoes, shorts, and my shirt. And, uh, you know, I just go from there, man. I don't know if I would use it if I had one. I suppose I would because I mean I guess it's, it's it's cool to keep up with your heart rate and all that. I just feel like after a while that becomes a novelty, but it's still a smartwatch, and I, I guess it would interface the best with your phone. And I'm actually thinking about getting one of those Windows 10, 10 phones because I, I, I that Lumia uh, 950 intrigued me. And um, like I said, I have the uh, I, I have the Samsung uh, Galaxy S5, but they told they told me I can trade up because I have AT&T Next. So we'll see how that goes. If I get it, I'll do an unboxing and review and all that. And then finally, uh, the Hololens VR headset. Uh, they they kind of showed that off with a with a new game that was um, you know a, a new game or what have you. And now uh, you'll be able to see that when you look at the video in the uh, the in, in the link that's in the description. It, it kind of goes through it. They said the headset will be sold next year to developers uh, in early 2016, first quarter, so who knows, that that might get pushed back like everything else gets delayed or what have you. But uh, they said it's gonna be around 3,000 that they're gonna be selling it to the developers or you know to be available for the developers. And um, hey, we might get some good games out of it. We may not, I don't really see anybody using VR like that, I just, I, I, I don't, I think it's one of those things that they could have always done, but I just don't think it's one of those things that that no matter how you do it, or even if you do it right, nobody. It, it, I don't know how much it really appeals to people because I want to have the controller in my hand. I don't want to, you, you know, like the like. Um, I don't want to have. I don't want to be restricted. I want to see what I'm seeing. And I want to have my peripheral vision as well. I don't want to. Um, and I don't even know how that's going to work. Maybe it's going to only be certain games or what. But um. Who knows, man? We'll see. But uh, other than that, man, that's the news. You guys tell me what you think down in the uh, in the comments. And if anybody wants to buy me their Surface Book, uh, you know, go ahead and uh, hit me up. I'll go ahead and uh, send you my, my PayPal address in the, in the description. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But um, you want to add anything, Bridget? Nope. Okay. So till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, and LJ. Say hello, LJ. Hello!